Why, greetings and salutations, watchers of Game Guys. Uh, Sun Coach Kato here. Welcome back to Kato Corner, Kato's Corner here at Game Guys. I am Sun Coach Kato, and welcome back to I show you how to get to the Shadow Realm with a solid build. So here's where we're at. We got the Moon Veil at plus nine. We are one upgrade away from maxing this out. Got Radon set. We've got Urtree's Favor. Uh, Crimson Amber Medallion plus one. Green Turtle Talisman. Green Jar's Arsenal. We have 13 Flasks at plus 12. I believe we have two Golden Seeds. Oh, we have three. We are only two Seeds away from the final Flask Charge. Let's go ahead and grab those. Last Golden Seeds. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the remainder of the map of the mountaintops here. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta go over here. We gotta conquer this area. Go over to the freezing lake. Lobster! We are now back at the mountaintop of the giants. This is about where I'm at now. I went to the freezing lake side of grace. So we're gonna go along here. whoop dee get to here. That's where we're in, that's our next destination. Fucking snails that hiss at me! And think that they're goats. That is kind of adorable, though. Okay, so we gotta get to the castle, but it's a bit low to the ground. Time to go around. Look at that little doinkle top. Oh shit, that's a that's a big old. I think that's one of the ding dong turtles that shit magic on top of you. It's very inconvenient for the gameplay experience. Uh oh. Beast Eye Quivers. Oh, Tibia Mariner. Man, things are happening here at Mountain Top of the Giants. Well, while I'm in the neighborhood. Okay, well, I don't have time to deal with the snake. Oh, yeah. Nice. Let me just take a quick grip and sit. Oh, you missed. Man, this snail thinks he's the goat spinny doodling around like that. Uh oh. Man, if I had SpaghettiOs, they would have gone all over the place. Nice. Another death route for the collection. It occurs to me I could have been riding Torrent this entire time. Oh, I... Have I been riding Torrent? I forget. You are a dragon. <gasps> it's a death bird! Yeah, I'm not ready to, to tango with that death. It's literally just called Death Right Bird. Uh-oh. It's a death bird! Anyways, here's the side of grace. Let me just take a rest bit. Ooh, we are getting close. Well, you know, time to take on... Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Well, we get a couple of hits in. Woohoo! You missed. I'm gonna take a sippy sip from my Gatorade. Is it in you? Okay, so now we're on a 2v1 situation. This is when the bottleneck strategy comes into play. For you see, by narrowing the space... Um, oh, they're both breathing winter fresh breath at the same time. Okay. I'm gonna... Oh, well... My escape route is now blocked. What will I do? Well, it's barricade shield. Hmm. I couldn't block it.
Got him. Now I can focus on just the last guy. Oh, you're going for the breathies. Big mistake going for breathies. Did I really just say breathies? Why, yes, I did. Hold up, hold up. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh, and yeah, yeah. Oh, you're going for the breathies? Well, I'm going to two hand my moon veil and show you I mean business, mister. Mister with a blister. I'm going to go back and replenish my flasks. Keep in mind, these two tiger dudes do not respawn after you slay them the first time. Knowledge is power, as they say. There it is. I knew there was a hidden item. Oh, smithing stone. Actually, I do need that for the uh, the crest shield upgrade. I just want to take a moment to say, uh, pardon my French. I'm going to use that. 5k runes? Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to be enough for two level ups. Strength's getting up there. Oh boy. Okay. All we need to do at the fortress is avoid the smaller death birds. There's a couple of dogs. We don't have time to pet the dogs right now. We got it. We got to move forward. Okay, maybe we give him what, a couple of scritches. Yeah, right. There's a death bird that hits hard. All right, we're gonna move on. Here's the thing: you can just kind of ignore these guys because there's a side of grace just over here. Okay, we gotta fight this guy. Well, I escaped uh, the swarm. Now I just got to get back to that side of grace. Now, in these precarious situations, it's important to stop for a moment, take a sippy. Get wrecked. And you also can get wrecked. You. Ow. Hi, Dingle Nuts. Finally. Oh, wait, the Death Bird's still here. Silly Death Bird. All right, let's go ahead and just crank out a few thousand more rune points. And then I can level up. An additional time. Just want to get that strength up. I want to equip that shield. It's so big and massive, and it looks cool. Uh oh. Owies. Man, I just got spanked when I just wanted to crank. Yeah, <laughs> got him. I also got him. Greetings, sir. What is this? Will you stop trying to eat the lice out of my hair? Man, they just really like lice. Oh, finally, these douches are out of my hair. Literally. You missed. Man, now I got the itchies. Man, that was just uncalled for. Just a couple of those and skippity bee bidi babbity frippity fruit frops. That's how you do it. 
I now have enough runes for that extra level up. There's the next boss fight, but not yet, not yet. I want to take this elevator down. This is the shortcut elevator. We know how we feel about the shortcut elevator, because with the shortcut elevator, it allows us to get back to the, to the, to the boss fight in a very efficient way. Ooh, Furl Calling Finger Remedy. Now I can engage in jolly cooperation. This is a slug. I don't care. You missed. I have set up this nice little pathway that allows me to get back to the boss in a quite efficient manner. Okay, strength at 26. Yay! This is, uh, and this is the scenic route back. However, by taking this route, with the elevator shortcut, we can just get straight to it. Time to make our way up. Okay. Let's get right to it. Ooh, missed the wombo combo there. All right, he's down. Not for this guy. Oh, he's got the bubble shield. You know what, what if I just go after you? Hmm. Ooh, frostbite. All right, I'll take this guy out quickly. And that just leaves the commander. That was a bad time to drink. That was a little greedy. But still. Oh, he's a little puckered out. Boy. Let me just uh, help you out there, uh, Commander. Yeah. Okay, I gave you that one. Be oh, shit. I need to double the sippy sip. Now we're gonna pump it up. Yeah, let's let's not get hit by the the AOE. Shit. Don't get greedy. I got super greedy there. All right. All I had to do was just hold block, block and attack, but I was like one hit away. All right. Okay, we'll try that again. Taking out the two chuckle nuts first isn't too bad. Commander O'Neill. He kind of hangs back until after you take him out, so it's somewhat balanced in that regard. Still, being outnumbered is always just a dick move. All right. Almost got him my first attempt. We'll go for the second attempt. I like it when vertical ascension happens. But, you know, sometimes we need to vertically descend. Okay, let's try this again. Mmm. <clears throat> Oh my god, they did the bullshit combo right off the fucking bat. God, I got the shit RNG this time around. Oh, 
Oh man, I got the worst fucking RNG. He did his bullshit instant win combo attack. Oh my god. This fucking sucks, dick. Now I gotta put in effort. Ah. Oh! Okay, let's try again. Didn't even get to fight. Why is it that I did super well the first attempt, but then the second offend, it's like, we're just gonna give you the absolute garbage shit RNG? Granted, I should be able to adapt to it, but I just like to bitch when things don't go my way at times. I reserve the right to bitch here and there. Because, goddammit, I just want to win and move on with my day. Alright, so first off... See, he does the bullshit attack! Fuck him! And fuck you, too! Fuck out of here. Man, this is... Honestly, sure. If I did this terribly against this cocksucker... Let's try again. Oh, I fucking hate this fight because I'm outnumbered and I don't, and I struggle to win when I'm outnumbered. Ah. Oh. Well, really, if I can just stagger the, the smaller assholes and just fucking get to the big guy, it would... I just... You know what? It's just the way the fight's designed. It's frustrating when you don't win within the first three or four attempts, but you just gotta keep going. No, seriously, the only time I really lose is when I'm outnumbered. I cannot deal- I struggle to deal with being outnumbered. I feel like just about anyone can say that, but here's the thing. I just want to win and move on with the game. <laughs> ah. Listen, everybody plays to win. Everybody wants to win. Alright, here we go. Try again. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Ooh. Yep, yeah, so when he raises both his swords like that, he's going for his bullshit attack. And there we go. I think that ends him. Okay, that was a bit of a greedy heal. Ooh. Fuck. There we go. Now I can finally fight an even fair fight. Being outnumbered is what Beta Cucks outnumbering their foes is what beta cuts do. Remember that. Ooh. And ooh. And ah. Uh... Stop getting greedy. All right. He's going to do his... Ooh, one second, one second. Right in the nuts you go, you s sucker. 
Whew, held that a bit longer than I was originally intending to. But you know how you can just get lost in the emotion at the moment. <sighs> I'm just glad this fight's over. Being outnumbered sucks, donkey dicks. And not the kind of donkey dicks that grant miracles. Alright. We're getting there. Okay, now we gotta go up this way. So, after you defeat Commander fucking stuff, you gotta go in this way. Did I get that already? Yes, I did. And then you go up this elevator. Halicatree Secret Medallion left. Now we gotta get the other... Okay, so what we just picked up was the first half of the Halicatree Secret Medallion. Now we gotta go pick up the other one. Which one was I missing? <sighs> holding in a... Duh. That sounds like I'm holding in a shit. So, pardon me while I... You guessed it! CONSULT THE DIRECTORY! Hi, fellas. After, uh... And ladies, after consulting the directory, I figured out where to get that second half of the Halicatree Secret Medallion. Alright, we gotta go over here. That's what we gotta do. We just, here. Mm, I'm gonna say we go here. Okay, so we gotta get to the uh, super secret Albinuric village. Well, it's not really that secret, but it's, you know. There's a giant crab. People get awkward and uncomfortable. Look at the crab. You are a crab. Huh. Well, what do you know? I, I don't know what I was getting out there. But hey, by going this way, so you kind of have to go into the under, underground part of this area. You just come up here. Oh, hi, Nefeli. Nice. Good job. Yeah, they're a bunch of fuckers. Fuck them. Uh, another set of grace has been activated. So why did the Tarnage... Uh, tarnage? Why did the Tarnish cross the bridge? Fuck this guy, that's why. I don't know, I just had to get across here. Wait, hang on. Oh, I went the wrong way. One second, I gotta go, I gotta go back. Howdy ho. A larval tear. While in the neighborhood, I wanted to pick this up in case I needed to respec again. Hey, look, it's this guy. Go eat a dick. Hey, look at this jar. By the way, you want to be here. And there's the Halicatree Secret Medallion, the right side. And rest in peace, kind sir. Well, time to move on. So you go back to the Grand Lift of Rold. We have now come back to the Forbidden Lands. Oh, we're so daredevil -y. So just go to the Grand Lift, you know, like you do. About here-ish. And now, using the D-pad, we switch the hoist secret medallion see it's secret. And now we get access to the secret lift for the secrets. It's super secret. You want to see what the secret medallion looks like? Oh! Okay, we're done. And we have made it to the super secret entranceway. Yeah, we're still, like, here-ish, but, uh, we still got this part of the map to uncover. <gasps> Are we going to uncover it today? Let's find out. Hidden path to the Halicatree. Yeah! <laughs> oh, hush up, Beast Quiver. Yo, 1,500 runes. This would be a neat little spot to do some rune farming. If one were so inclined. Yo, what is up with this? You know what? I'm just going to leave you to your own devices. There's some weird floppy tentacle barnacle looking whatever. Get wrecked. Hi, hi.
Yeah, this is a little too much excitement. Ow. Ow. Ow, 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 ow! Alright, well, at least we got this lit up. Now, you might notice that it's getting very snowy, but right now, I got more issues to deal with. <laughs> that was totally calculated and planned by yours truly. All right, let's just go ahead and rest here. And hidden path. Okay, that that that's the that's the yes. Welcome to the consecrated snow field. You're not going to be able to see shit right in front of you. But I will place a beacon. We can still mount up on torrent and we can, you know. By the way, I'm pretty sure there's like a soup, there's a hidden dragon. We got to we got to avoid the dragon. Hello. Ooh, I almost fell. But then I didn't fall. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hello. Hello. Let's, uh... You know, I'm getting... You remember that one level in Dark Souls 2 that we didn't like at all? Perfect. Here we go. Perfect. We successfully navigated this fucking part of the mountaintops. Well, sort of. We're about to get the map fragment. And there it is. Okay, that dog is sleeping. Let's not wake up the doggos. Because they are dogs. They're puppy dogs. I need to consult the directory. One second. Eh, we already know where the last one is. We can actually remove these icons once we collect the final golden seed. Oh, we're getting there. We're almost there. The final golden seed. There's dogs. We have dogs. And asshole archers, but we got the dogs. <gasps> it's another dog. I'm gonna jump over this dog. Look at the dogs. You are dogs. Look at the dogs. You know, the consecrated snowfields, once when you can actually see where the fuck you're going, it's quite majestic and beautiful looking. I wonder if this is what the arch, the sixth archstone in Demon Souls could have potentially looked like. Because the sixth, the sixth broken archstone of Demon Souls the first game of the Soulsborne franchise, mind you, had, had I believe, planned content where it was going to be like a snowy field with a giant fortress. It looked cool. At least the, the idea seemed cool. Okay. Final golden seed. Where are you hiding? There you are. This should put us at five exactly. Now, I'm going to do something quite magical. Boom. All markers removed. I'm going to go ahead and just make my way over here now. Oh, hey, look. Hi, fellas. Bye, fellas. Okay, so I will say, not being alone actually makes... Now, I know, in the pre I know previously I have mentioned that I, I tend to freak out about wide open empty horizon areas the consecrated snowfields does put me at a little unease because it's like well it's just like this vast landscape just this empty void of <sighs> but you know i've seen other npcs around even if they're hostile and they all want to murder me it's comforting that i'm not by myself <gasps> look at the pack of dogs look at those dogs Look at the dogs. Oh, those are dogs. Okay, I need to, here we go. Just like the side of grace, just to kind of have it. But now we can do the extra excellent deal of adding the final flask charge. And now if we try and add a charge to flask, flask charges already at maximum. Increase amount replenished. The amount of HP, FP your flask replenished cannot be increased any further. And with that, we have fully maxed out. 14 flasks at plus 12. Good job. Now, I guess I'll just go here for now. All right. So I kind of wanted to end off on a bit of a baner. So what I'm going to do, let's see if I can... See if I can actually get this to work. Both near and far. Come on. Let's do it up. Now... 
this is sort of a continuation of the Ver Blood quest line deal. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to win the invasions. You just need to do five invasions, period. Whether you win or lose is irrelevant. You just need to do it five times, and then you can proceed with Ver's quest line. Oh, we're gonna invade. Ah. <sighs> Well, might as well activate this. Oh shit, we're invading. Let's go. Altus Tunnel? Look how red and cool looking I am. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'll fight Orange Man. Ow. Honestly, I don't care if I win or lose this. I just need to get through five invasions. There we go. Alright. One down, four to go. You did it, guys! Hey! He's got the same helmet I do. The Orange Phantom, that is. My name's Terrence. Is your name Philip? I may have just implied that the helmets are Canadian. Leave a comment below if you got the Terrence and Philip reference. Right. Okay, one down, four to go. Both near and far. I'm just a connection error? What a bunch of penis. Well, I guess we'll stop it there.